Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with the Movement System. Today we're gonna to talk about what is muscle hypertrophy. So we're gonna explain at the muscle fiber level how we're actually going from damaging a muscle to muscle protein synthesis and rebuilding a muscle in the physiology of that cycle. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so to lay the groundwork, our goal is to go from smaller bicep to bigger bicep. How are we gonna do this? Well, when we think about the layers of the muscle fiber, we actually have, when we think about the whole muscle and we look at a cross section of that, many muscle fascicles. And those fascicles with different types of fibers are made up of many individual muscle fibers. And what we're looking at here is one muscle fiber. So what you'll see here is that there are actually many myofibrils making up this one fiber. And then what you'll see in orange are satellite cells around the fiber. So you may have heard that muscle cells are multinucleated. And this is actually going to be a really important thing to remember when we're thinking about the process of muscle hypertrophy. Okay, so step one is to actually go from a fiber to a fiber that has had some microtrauma. And how do we do that? With training. These are Dr. Schoenfeld's three mechanisms of muscle hypertrophy, mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. So the training that you do and the training that you program as a strength coach or as a personal trainer is gonna have some combination of mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. So we can do high rep training that's gonna have more metabolic stress. We can do heavy loaded training that's gonna have more mechanical tension. But either way, some combination of these three factors are going to actually lead us to causing microtrauma at the muscle fiber level. So once we've done training and we've gone to a muscle fiber that has some microtrauma, those myofibrils, the actin and the myosin within those myofibrils have had some structural damage. What we're going to need to do next is muscle protein synthesis. So once microtrauma has occurred at the myofibrillar level, we actually have a hormonal cascade of things like testosterone and IGF-1 and growth hormone that are gonna signal that there's been damage and as well activate satellite cells. So these are the satellite cells that we were talking about here. Now this is really important. Those satellite cells are at the level of DNA. So that DNA can actually encode, transcribe, amino acids, which can then become muscle proteins. So these satellite cells with the nuclei in there will actually kind of fill in the areas that have had microtrauma and they will become through a process of DNA to amino acids to proteins, they will become the myofibrils. And that's really important because that's actually the whole principle of adding sarcomeres and making a muscle bigger. If this has been helpful for you so far, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and turn your notifications on so that way whenever I make follow-up videos about more things related to muscle hypertrophy and strength conditioning, you won't miss them. Okay, so just to be abundantly clear here, if this is a muscle cell and there's myofibrils within it, what we could do is two things. We could either add new and more myofibrils in. That would be called hyperplasia. And that would occur if those satellite cells grouped together and formed a brand new myofibril. That is probably not what occurs as the primary mechanism of muscle growth. Instead, what happens is that those damaged myofibrils actually have satellite cells that come on and make them bigger so that way those current myofibrils actually get bigger and expand the cell and cause muscle hypertrophy that way. And just to give you an idea of what this looks like at the cellular level, here's a picture. So what you can see with this picture is the process of muscle protein synthesis, going all the way from an inactive satellite cell that was then activated with the hormonal cascade that came on after muscle damage, to then move to a group of satellite cells, to then turn those satellite cells into a myofiber. So then that myofiber can become part of a myofibril, which would make a muscle fiber bigger, which would make the entire muscle bigger, which we would call muscle hypertrophy. So to recap, we started with a muscle fiber. We did training that involved mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage to then cause micro traumas in that muscle. And then what we did was we signaled some hormones and we activated satellite cells to then start to generate new muscle proteins. And then that added myofibrils to our muscle fiber, which then made our muscle fiber bigger, which then made our muscle bigger, which then made your biceps bigger. Importantly though, this isn't the only type of hypertrophy. 
what I'm explaining here is the process of myofibrillar hypertrophy, which is increasing the myofibrils and increasing the active contractile muscle proteins. We could also though have sarcoplasmic hypertrophy of non-contractile proteins. If you want me to make a video about the difference between myofibrillar and sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, or a video about the sliding filament theory or something like that, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I will do follow up videos to this. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it was, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you wanna learn more, go ahead and join the Strength Conditioning Study Group on Facebook. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.